Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up the software for Amitar, M E T A R map for uh, tracking uh, airport delays using uh, WS uh, 2812s or 11s uh, LEDs. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but what's it matter? So. We're going to do an update. Now I'm using 5 volt, uh, a 50 LED strand. You can use 5 volt or 12 volt. And depending on how many LEDs you're going to be using out of the strand, you may have to hook the power up to an external source. And obviously if you're using 12 volt, you're going to have to do that regardless. So, you might get away with using, you know, 25 coming right off the, uh, the uh, Pi itself, but that's something you're just going to have to look into. So, hopefully that's not an error, an issue, but we'll see. So now we need to install, or make sure we have... Python 3 and Python 3 pib installed. So, and I'll throw a link in the uh, description to my website for all this stuff. Then, with that, we are going to install a couple packages for NeoPixels and, and the uh, RPI here, as you can see. <clears throat> and to hook these up, you have a red, blue, and a white wire. The white wire is for the data. Blues for ground, reds for power. So, for example, like mine, five volts is red, uh, blue is the ground, and uh, the white wire goes to GPIO 18 pin 12. So, so now we can download the. Uh, maps uh, software so if we CD into this guy and do an LS as you can see we have some scripts here so we're going to move them to the desktop so just got a couple commands here to, to do Now we're only going to move the ones we need, or move the things that we need. All right, with that, we can actually go ahead and run the command to test things out. And as you can see, it ran it, and it's done. But what we need to do is, if we nano into the airport, file as you can see here's a list of uh, airport names which you're going to have to change these to match the airports that you want to uh, get updates from and you don't need to use every single uh, LED so whenever you're done doing that we'll just do a control X Y and enter to save it if you're using the uh, nano Another thing, you're going to have to go into <clears throat> the following, and if we scroll down, I'm using a 50 count. So you need to update this on how many you're using. Now, if you have, let me go back here to this. So let's say this KHQM is your first LED then this guy for example is your second LED third LED fourth fifth six seven eight and so on now if you're not using the second you need to paste null in so for example if you know you're not going to be using four you'll want to type that in then however many lines you have here 
you'll want to change to here. So if you only have 23 airports and two nulls, you'll want to change this to 25. Then save it. Just for example. So when you run your script, it will only obviously light up the LEDs that you have and, the, and how many. So now we need to make some things executable and make them run. So we're just going to run the following commands here. And you can just paste this from my site. And shout out to the, uh, for the person that wrote this up. It definitely helps out. So now if we want to start this from boot, we can do a cron on it. So we can get into that and we can paste in the following here. So the lights will turn on at six in the morning and go off at 10 at night if you want. And uh, they'll turn off at 11 p.m. the same day. Then uh, start back over the next day. So the uh, LEDs ain't on 24 seven. And you can change this to whatever you wanna do but this is just kind of generic. So if you don't want to look at it 24 hours a day. And other than that, that's about it. I'll uh, throw the link in the description. It'll have some photos of, uh, of the wiring and uh, of the lights and obviously the uh, commands. But that's pretty much it, how to set it up other than change your... Uh, your uh, how many lights and stuff you're using and let me and I have a link on my website for the following page here and you could just search your airports here so if we just type in say New York or something uh, maybe we need to put a space in here there we go and remember, you'll need the AC, the ICAO number, not the uh, FAA or the I, IATA. You'll need the four digit uh, letter and number. So, other than that, Hopefully this kind of helps out. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. And don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.